July 18th update. It's a raised bed, the basil, some parsley, Frank's tomatoes, a little sedum, cucumbers are coming along. Lots of flowers. Get the purple beans. And red cabbage in the middle. some parsley, perennial lovage, some kale, and some broccoli that the bugs ate, but we're still getting some broccoli heads. one's well eaten but it's producing a nice head of broccoli got lemongrass in the pot there onions are coming along Pot of tarragon, and thyme, and rosemary. This is the rain gutter hybrid garden, self watering. Got some tomatoes. It's a double row I made last year. Got eggplant. These are pickling cukes. They're just starting to climb. And some peppers. This is the original rain gutter I made last year. See, it's actually just a rain gutter, two two by fours. And it's on a base. This year I made some wooden troughs with the neck cups in them to wick up the moisture. This is all romaine lettuce coming up. This is bok choy. I've never grown that before. They say it's easy to grow and it grows fast. This is chicoria or dandelion which we love. Swiss chards coming up. This was all put in kind of late because I was building these troughs, but it'll do fine. Mesclun. It's a mixed salad green. Three types of radish. This is, what can they call, was it watermelon? traditional French radish and this is the long white icicle radish got dill coming up which will be perfect when the cukes come in so I can make some pickles cilantro this should be perfect when the tomatoes start ripening make some nice salsa Again, all self-watering, very easy to weed. 
this was the big project this year. 30 tomato plants, self-watering with a trellis. They're doing great. Haven't had the water. Only picked a few weeds from them. And you can see they're like loaded. These are the uh, Roma tomatoes. They're like loaded. They're supported with these strings and these little clips. Very easy to maintain. Should last a while. In between the paths, I'm going to put mulch. Tomorrow's project. Let's go down this row. Steak, I believe. Or maybe Beef Master, maybe that's what it is. Beef Master. Got one more raised bed here. Make sure this will be self-watering. I'll put drip irrigation in here. Got Russian kale on the left. In the middle, we've got the dinosaur kale. And some zucchini, which I planted late also because I was making these beds. There's the top bar hive. This is the hose that feeds it. It's all gravity feed. Comes into this box. The red valve goes to all the tomatoes and rain gutter system. And the other is the garden hose, which I hit hooked the battery up. So I can water the raised beds. It has plenty of pressure. It's so much easier than regular gardening and uh, using my Troy built. There are the hops. A little messy this year, but they're growing. Again, I'm going to get all mulched all between here. So next year it's going to be totally different. A little perennial border. And the blueberry cage.